Hello YouTube, this is Redhead Takes, back again with another NFL pick video, week 17 edition. Last week I was 12 and 4, and probably one of the best weeks I've had in a while, but still kind of upset that I got the Broncos game so wrong again. This reinforces why you never pick Denver again. Yeah, all the progress they've shown the past couple of weeks was all was all fraud. They just they just played well against a divisional opponent in the Chiefs, and then Russell went out. But uh, let's get into the matchups this week. I think this week will be a little bit easier to pick, just because there's some assumptions that I had the best or for most of the season that are now true. Not to pick certain teams, no matter how much I think they can win, they won't. I picked Tampa Bay last week, but I could have picked Arizona and you would have been disappointed. And let's start with a game that I was anticipating since the beginning of the season, but now has lost all of its luster. And I'm talking about the Dallas Cowboys versus the Tennessee Titans. The Titans have been in, in complete free fall. Complete free fall. I, at the beginning of the season, I would have said Tennessee is going to win for sure because Derrick Henry is going to run the ball, but they're off at their... Their uh, passing attack is so awful. Malik Willis may have a future, but he needs more reps. And Dallas beating Philadelphia, yes, they beat a they beat a backup quarterback. And if Jalen Hurts had been in there, they would not have won. But <clears throat> I'll give them some deference, and I think they win pretty handily this week. Although, like I always say, it's the NFL. You never count on anything. Not one thing. Never, never, never count on any victory for sure. Because it can always change like that. Next we have Arizona-Atlanta. It looks like a terrible game on paper. And it probably will be. Arizona had Tampa Bay by the throat up 10. And of course Tom Brady just uh, works up his devil magic and he wins. That's all I can call it is devil magic because the, the amount of ways this guy finds a way to win or the way the NFL tries to find ways to get Tom Brady in the playoffs is just maddening. And Atlanta, not looking particularly good last week against Baltimore. Desmond, like I, like I said with uh, Malik Willis, Desmond Ritter may have a future, but he's going to need some seasoning for sure. I remember some comments in my videos earlier in the year that Desmond Ritter is going to be good. And it's like, mm, he needs seasoning for sure. He has the talent, but he needs work for sure. So in this game, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with Atlanta just because I think they have a little bit more in Arizona's way too inconsistent. But I don't, I don't know. Next we have... Chicago and Detroit. Detroit coming out the surprise loss to Carolina. And Chicago just getting beat down by the Bills in the end. They were in it for most of the game, but they were just beat down. They were beat down. So Chicago should probably... Oh, I don't know what Chicago is going to do. Fields is supposedly hurt. And without Justin Fields, I fear Chicago has really no chance to win. In Detroit... I like them to bounce back this week, but you can never be too sure, to be honest. Like I said, last week, I'm sure they were one of the most picked teams to win last week. And what happens to give up 300 yards on the ground to Carolina? So, I mean, Detroit still controls their own destiny for the most part, but they I think they basically need to win out to make it, to make it in the playoffs. But, uh... Yeah, I think Detroit wins. But, as always, eh, you can never count on anything in the NFL. Next, we have the Denver and Kansas City. Now, here's one thing you can depend on. If Kansas City doesn't win this game, they lose out all hope of uh, getting the first seed. And that w will be huge this year because last year in the playoffs... Having that home field advantage against the Bills was huge. And it came down to the end, and look what happened. 
or Mahomes just worked his devil magic. I don't think it's as devilish as Tom Brady's, but I mean, he just just works that magic to get a win when should nothing of the sort should happen. And Denver is just a fucking joke. They are a joke. They're maybe maybe next year they'll get better without Nathaniel Hackett, but. I don't think it's fair to throw all their issues on Nathaniel Hackett. I think Russell Wilson needs to look in the mirror. But yeah, Kansas City should win them pretty handily. Next we have the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. And the Patriots with a loss last week. Now if only they could kick field goals or make extra points, they would have won. But... I don't know. Miami losing in the way they did to the Packers. Yeah, Tua, uh, quick thing on Tua here. He need he might need to get out of Miami because well, this week, if true, he had a concussion and played through the second half. He needs to get out of there. Like, this is the like the second or third time this year where he suffered a head injury and the team was reluctant to take him out. I mean, the first time they kind of had to. He was, yeah. But, I mean, if Drew had played through the second half with the concussion, they might explain some of his bad throws. But even still, it's just like... Who, whoever's in charge of co- or watching concussion needs to get the fuck out because he is awful. He's just as bad as the one who got fired the first time when two out his first serious concussion that took him out for three weeks. But yeah, um, for now I'm picking the Patriots, but we'll see. Maybe I might change that if two up plays. Next we have the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Giants. As much as I want the Giants to win... Or no, as much as I want the Colts to win, I can pick the Colts this week after their pathetic offensive showing on Monday night against the Chargers. And the Giants really played well on on Saturday, but you know, just because the Vikings work their devil magic, they find some way to win. Now, Vikings fans don't get too confident. Or, this is no way to win in the playoffs. No way to win a Super Bowl. This doesn't happen forever. Eventually it's going to run out and your loss in the playoffs is going to feel so, so sweet. But yeah, the Colts are just pathetic. Without Jonathan Taylor, they really can't move the ball at all. And Nick Foles is definitely not the answer quarterback. And who knows if they'll even have any draft picks to get a good quarterback this year. Who knows? I mean, Jeff Saturday, the puppet, is there as coach. And as long as Jim Bursay is the owner, you don't see any good things coming from the Colts. But yeah, the Giants, I think, should win this pretty good, which are pretty well. Shouldn't have any issue, but you never, never know. Next, we have the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. As much as I want to pick the Saints to win, I just can't. What the Eagles had last week should be enough to beat the Saints, but maybe I can hope behind hopes that the Saints somehow do win. I, we just got to make sure the Vikings lose the Packers because the Vikings don't deserve the number one seed. They don't. But just because Jalen Hurts got hurt means all of a sudden you can just slip right in there? No. You're not good enough to, to warrant the number one seed. You're way too based on luck. But yeah, I don't want to talk about the Vikings the whole time. But Philadelphia should have more than enough to win. Saints have won a couple weeks, but they beat the Falcons and the Browns. So <laughs> make of that what you will. But Philly wins, hoping for the Saints win. So. Next we have the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm very tempted to pick Carolina after the way they played last week and after how poorly the Tampa Bay Buccaneers played last week. Yes, the Buccaneers won, but they were playing the Cardinals, Sands, Kyler Murray. So, 
they're just not the same without Kyler Murray. Even with Kyler Murray, they struggled at times. But yeah, Carolina running very well last week against the Lions. Tampa Bay's defense hasn't improved too much. I think I'll go with Carolina initially, but may change that to Tampa Bay just because devil magic. Tampa Bay's got it. Wherever Tom Brady goes, the devil magic is not too far behind. And he wields it on a daily basis or maybe just calls his buddy at the NFL to make sure he wins. I didn't say that. There's no conspiracy here. Carolina wins. Next we have the Cleveland Browns and the Washington Commies. And I really hope Cleveland wins this game. This would be really huge. All the Packers need to do to make the playoffs is just win out and have Washington lose one game. I don't know if it's this game, but we'll see. Washington looked great in the first half last week against the 49ers, but then the 49ers crushed them mercilessly. Cleveland played pretty well for the most part, but in the second half they just looked bad. And they came up short, but... And this is a toss-up among toss-ups, to be honest. Cleveland, Washington... I think he'll go with the commies, but I think Cleveland can absolutely win. Next we have the Jacksonville Jags and the Houston Texans. Houston with a not-so-surprising win last week. I picked that game right for the Houston win. And Jacksonville winning against the Jets. Now, it's in Houston, so it won't be it won't be a big rainy wet mess. So I think Jacksonville should be able to play well and really, if they win this week and Tennessee lo- loses, I mean, Jacksonville still will still win out to make the playoffs because, well, maybe not win out. Well, yeah, they do need to win out to win the division, but I think they can definitely do that because next week they play Houston, or next week they play Tennessee, who's completely fallen off the map. And Houston just... They got the win, but need to keep boosting to secure the number one spot because they're just a bad team. And they're always going to be a bad team, to be honest. I don't know when their future is going to be bright, but maybe it'll be soon. But I think Jacksonville wins pretty well in this game. Next, we have San Francisco, Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a pathetically run team, they're just awful. Eric Carr making mistakes again last week. Three second half interceptions against one of the most pathetic offenses in the league and the Steelers. San Francisco struggling a little bit in the beginning last week. But they ultimately uh, won pretty handily. Um, Yeah, San Francisco should win this pretty easily. Don't have much else to say. Las Vegas will not win this game. And if they do, again, another reason how random the NFL is. Next, we have the New York Jets and the Seattle Seahawks. Boy, it'd be great here for the Jets to win. And I think they have a good chance to win. Seattle just has fallen off the map lately. I don't know. Yeah, their defense just isn't very good. They have some movement on offense at times, but they haven't played. They played against good teams the last couple of weeks, and it look, and they've been shown up really, to be honest, shown to be not as good as people thought they were in the beginning. And the Jets, who knows? I think uh, I think Mike White will be back this week, so that'll help offensively a lot. Like I said in earlier videos, I think Zach Wilson is probably done in New York, but mm, I don't know. I think I'll go with the Jets just because of their defense. will give them a little bit of edge, even though it's in Seattle. I think the Jets have a chance to win. Next, we have the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. Packers, again, need to win this week. And after the last couple weeks, I think they have a great chance to beat Minnesota. It's a divisional game. And let's admit, if, if again, if Christian Watson makes that touchdown pass in the first week, the game is completely different. And Packers have a great chance to win. So, 
So the Vikings fans saying how the Packers are just lucky. They're 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 actually looking better than your fucking team. I mean, all the Vikings do is win at the end at, while they play crappily. The thing with the Vikings defense is they allow the run, but they they just hope for the interception to come. So if the Packers run the ball all all game, they should be able to win just fine. Don't give in to your urges to throw the ball more and more times. You can win by running the ball against the Vikings since they seemingly don't care about giving up the run. Again, I'm going to pick the Packers. As crazy as it seems, I think they're, they're the team of destiny right now. Next we have the Los Angeles Rams and the Los Angeles Chargers. I think the Chargers win this one. The Rams last week, that was a fluke. They were just playing a really bad offense. And their defense just could not keep up because they were constantly on the field. The Rams, I don't know. They don't have a lot of draft picks in the future. And I don't think they have a lot of future. I think Stafford, to be honest, is done. Who knows if I'll ever play again. The Chargers are in the playoffs for the first time in a while, which is good. It's good to see them not charger their season away. It's a really good thing. At least one Los Angeles team will rep- represent the city in the playoffs. As terrible as that city is. But yeah. Chargers should win this pretty well. Next we have the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. Boy. Pittsburgh needs wins just to get in, but I don't think I can pick them, to be honest. I picked them last week just because it had a fluke. The last time they picked they were played against Baltimore, I picked the Steelers because their offense was moving better and they were looking better, but then they lose at the lose at the end to Baltimore and they can't uh, get the onside kick, but Baltimore hasn't looked too great in the past couple of weeks. Who knows if Lamar Jackson's gonna play? I think if Lamar Jackson plays Steelers probably don't win, but I don't know. It's, this is one of those tough divisional games that is always hard to pick. The teams always play well for the most part when they play each other, and it's honestly really hard to decide which way to go, but I think I'll go Baltimore. But like I've said many times before, you never know what you're going to get with the NFL, and it truly is in any given Sunday situation for any team, to be honest. The Houston can beat Tennessee, but the Pittsburgh Steelers can beat the Baltimore Ravens. But I'm not going to pick them this week. I'll be rooting for them to win them. And finally, we have Buffalo versus Cincinnati. A monumental game that for some godforsaken reason is on Monday night. Why is this game on Monday night? This game should be on Sunday night, and Pittsburgh and Baltimore should be on Monday night. I know it's a rivalry game between the two, but fuck, this game, Buffalo and Cincinnati have way more playoff implications than Pittsburgh and Baltimore, although both of the, that game has a fair amount also, but yeah, the Buffalo and Cincinnati could be deciding who wins for, who gets first seed, while Pittsburgh and Baltimore could just be if Pittsburgh wins, they're, they're one step closer to being in, and Baltimore doesn't affect them at all, they're already in. Yeah, Buffalo looking great last week in the end against Chicago. Cincinnati looking not so good in the second half against New England. It's been a weird couple weeks for Cincinnati playing well or not playing well uh, against Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the first half and then blowing them out in the second and then blowing out the, or the Patriots in the first half last week and then not playing well in the second half. Can they play a complete game? That's the story. I think Buffalo wins this. It's going to be a great game. Great game against two great quarterbacks. Whoever wins the turnover battle wins the game. And there we go. We have there we go. We have my picks for week 17 of the NFL season. As always, trying to make Rumble and Locals better. So hit me up there at redheadtakes.locals.com and and type in Redhead Takes in the search bar at Rumble and you can find me there. Still don't have Twitter yet. Haven't really looked onto it to see if I've been accepted back but we'll see. Apparently there's still a bunch of uh, 
waymos over there that can't uh, understand the importance of jokes. But yeah, there we have it. Week 17 of the NFL season. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you watch it all the way through. And as always, have a great day. And God bless.